Hi and welcome to this edition of Out of the Box. My name is Paul. Today we're going to have a look at what is in this box. This is the Ubiquiti USW Ultra. Now there are currently three versions of this in the product range. Um, they're all based around the same item, which is the actual switch itself. Um, so this video will cover all of them. They're all just different powered options. Not going to be a big technical overview, give you some technical information, but you can find out more in the fact sheets or over on our YouTube channel where we've got other uh, videos on how to make this all work together with other Ubiquiti products. All right, so what are you going to get in the box? You are going to get your conformity guide. All right, probably never come out of the plastic wrap. What else are you going to get? You are going to get a, a drilling guide and a level. There you go. All right, because you can wall mount this. You are going to get the wall mount bracket. Now this is interesting, this is a slight change from uh, how we've seen Ubiquiti do this before on a number of the other devices that we've got um, where it's wall mounted, we've seen it that you clip it onto the wall and clip it down. I think Ubiquiti have realized that's easy maybe to push up with the cables um, when you're trying to connect them like this and they push out and off. So we've got a slightly different option. So I can show you the back there you can see and basically we've got the wall mount bracket, we push it into place, there we go and then it clips clips into place to hold it. Let me just show you that again. All right, so we've got the device, it's gonna come up to the wall like this. All right, and then it clips into place. So now we've got that as an option. Um, so maybe a little bit of an improvement there if you do want to wall mount that. You are going to get some screws and lugs as well uh, to mount that wall bracket. The version I've got is the 60 watt. Uh, we'll talk about the differences in a moment. So you're gonna get a power cable. This is European, but if you're here in Australia, we change that around um, to be the Australian uh, connector. All right, and then let's talk about the three different models. We'll talk about the unit in a moment. Um, this has three options to be powered. So the USW Ultra comes without any power pack, without those power cable that I've shown you, just the accessories, the wall mount bracket, the uh, conformity guide, the drilling, and uh, the screws and lugs. This uh, can be powered by a PoE switch. Um, you need to really have that switch doing PoE++, um, so it can deliver, I think, um, 40 or so watts to this. You'll have an end up of about 42 watts of usable power across these seven ports. Yes, you hear it say it's an eight port switch. I'll talk to you about the eighth port here in a moment. That's where you're gonna actually PoE power it from. That's gonna come from your upstream switch. So your first option uh, is to power it from a switch. All right, we'll talk about what wattage is maybe in a moment. Your second option um, is, so you've got 42 watts of usable power across all of your switch ports there. Second option is the 60 watts, so the USW Ultra 60 watt, and you're gonna get a 60 watt power pack. So here we go, you can see the power in uh, on there. All right, power pack is like this, um, and your power in. The 60 watt power pack, it's gonna give you usable 52 watts across all of those ports. And then the next model up uh, is the USW Ultra 210 watt, 210 watt. Um, it has a power pack almost the same size as uh, this switch itself, all right? And will provide 210 watts of power to the unit with a usable, I think it's 202 watts of power across all of the switch ports. What do we need different wattage for? Very simple. Every device that we power, uh, maybe a wireless access point, a VoIP phone, a camera or something used these different PoE amounts of wattage. So say for instance, a G5 bullet, um, one of the Ubiquiti uh, products that's a camera, uses about five watts. So we've got seven ports here. Um, so I need 35 watts of power to be able to run across these. So if I was gonna use the 60 watt power pack, I'd be great. If I was going to have a switch that could give me PoE plus power or PoE plus plus, then again, I could use that. We'll talk about maybe what the power PoE bit is in a, in a moment. Um, but what if I had five um, U6 LRs, which are the big wireless access points? They need around 18 to 20 watts of power each. All right, so again, across five of those, I'd need about 100 watts of power. So my 60 watt power pack isn't gonna work, so I'm gonna want to use my 210 watts, so it'd be the USW Ultra 210. So when we're mixing and matching, it's just important when we think about what do we got? Have we got VoIP phones? Have we got cameras? Have we got access points? What is their maximum PoE consumption value? And that'll allow us work out what we um, need 
um, to have powering this. So let's start with this as the USW Ultra because I think you want to probably see this. It is an eight port switch, but what do you notice there? Only seven ports. So we have seven one gig PoE plus ports here. I think they can give out 30 watts of power maximum for each of them. Up at this end here, and we've got our tiny little reset hole, and then down here we've just got our LED indicator that will show it's running. Sort of plasticky polycarbonate. Uh, on the back here, we have uh, up this end our power in, if we are powering this from a power pack, all right? And then up here, this is our eighth port, this one here. It's not a PoE out port, it's just a PoE in port. You should be able to use that just as a normal ethernet cable port as well. So that's why it's an eight port, but you'd only be able to use it as a normal standard data connection. You can't use this to onward power something else. So why would we have just this on its own uh, without the power pack? Well, imagine that we've got a decent PoE++ switch, um, a Ubiquiti Pro or something like that, maybe even a USW24. And I need some cameras and an access point that are 20, 30, 40 meters away from that. I can run a single ethernet cable. I can mount this in the ceiling void, all right? I can run my cable back to my switch. My switch will power this. I don't need to have a, a normal power socket, mains power socket near it. And then I can obviously split this out to all of my other devices. So just buying this without the power pack and if you've got a good other switch, could be a great starting point for you. So like I said, seven one gig PoE plus ports on the front and the back here is a normal ethernet port or PoE in uh, really wants PoE in plus plus to make it work. I believe you can send PoE plus, but it's only, sorry, just normal PoE plus, but it's going to give you only like 16 watts of usable power, which might be okay for a couple of cameras if that's all you want. Then couple it with a power pack, 60 watt. All right, now this is just still a non PoE port, but I have seven ports at the front, all right, that can use my 52 watts from this. Add instead the 210 watt, and now across those seven ports, um, I can uh, spread my 200 watts uh, or so of power. So a really versatile unit. It's about the same size as the USW Lite 8, but the USW Lite 8 is eight ports, but only four of them are PoE, and only can go up to, I think, 42 watts of power in total. So this is a really, really nice unit to have three options in this, uh, makes it really, really versatile. Let me hold it up again um, for you, let the camera focus. So those are your seven one gig PoE ports. And again, uh, on the back there um, is your PoE in, PoE in, there you go, um, or just data in. So hopefully that's been useful. Head on over to our YouTube channel. Got plenty more box openings on network wireless and firewall devices. What do I need to run Unify Network, for instance, how to set it up and configure it, or how to make this type of thing work um, with a, a Cloud Gateway Ultra. So why don't you head over there, subscribe, and stay up to date.